Hey, welcome. This is Anonymous T um, on the Anonymous T podcast, on my backup channel to my main channel, Anonymous T. In the event anything uh, crazy happens with my main channel, I will be uploading consistent content back here and all of the things. So do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already uh, for constant updates and uploads. Uh, so in this particular video, we need to talk about Big Willy style. <laughs> uh, so so real talk we're talking will smith i i unless you guys have been under iraq this past weekend was the first weekend of coachella um as you guys know that takes place in cali uh it's a big concert festival several artists headline it uh this year i believe the headlines were i think doja cat uh tyler the creator um, and so on and so forth, right? But 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 we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about two things, right? Uh, one is uh, Lauren Hill made a surprise appearance during her sunset, which I thought was really cool, uh, and tore the house down. And then uh, Big Wooly Style himself, Will Smith, uh, came out was a surprise guest for J Balvin and performed Men in Black, you guys. And Will Smith, we need to talk about it. Will Smith, he looked refreshed. He looked happy. He looked healthy. Uh, the 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 vocals, the the everything was on point. It was live. Uh, you know, the dancing was decent. Uh, the whole set was really cool. I wish he was out longer. I wish he would do. Honestly, to be honest, I, I would have been here for like a whole like DJ Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince Coachella set, you guys, in 2024. Why not, you know? Uh, but I thought he looked great. I, I, I'm kind of disappointed with this Coachella proud, crowd, and I don't know if it's because of certain streams that like rewatching these performances on. Uh, but I feel like they can't really grasp and understand the magnitude of Lauren Hill and Will Smith gracing their presence on that stage. I don't know if they really, uh, you know, could stomach everything that was happening, right? Also, um, somebody else who was performing at Coachella as well was no doubt reunited. Um, as you guys know, uh, Gwen Stefani is the lead, was the lead singer um, of that band. They were super popular in the 90s, uh, sold millions of records and all of the things. Of course, we know Gwen Stefani, ugh, I can't talk. Uh, Gwen Stefani went um, solo and everything, but um, you know, for several years, uh, you know, finally, there is this reunion and it was pretty nostalgic for those of you who are familiar with No Doubt, right? Uh, so a lot of people were very much, you know, excited. Uh, a lot of people are, are shipping uh, Gwen Stefani to get back with her ex, Tony. I personally don't think that's going to happen ever, but I do think he's the love of her life. Um, those of you who don't know, um, they were together, I believe, seven years she wanted to settle down, get married, have kids with this man. Uh, he did not. He uh, so they broke up. This expired, you know. Uh, the the monster album, um, full of break with a lot of breakup songs, but of course the most notable one is of course "Don't Speak," and and it's just raw and 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 everything. You just feel everything in that song. Probably like in terms of like alternative pop music, probably. I would say top 10 breakup songs, right? Uh, so nonetheless, uh, that was kind of the highlights. And I'm not sure how I feel yet about Doja Cat's performance because I personally preferred for her to perform a lot of her pop records or even roles or Say So or Woman or um, Get Into It. Like there was just so many songs that I felt was just left. And I understand that she has performed there before and probably didn't want to perform the same set. But you can at least incorporate it into some sort of a mix or something. I think unfortunately some of these artists now they feel like they only have to perform their most current music and a lot of them sometimes shy away from actually performing their hits and I don't understand it because it's like that is what turns you into a global superstar in the first place so why wouldn't you perform what made you hot what made you pop from you know the jump right 
So uh, that's kind of my assessment of at least the first weekend of Coachella. Uh, nonetheless, we'll see what next weekend brings. It seemed kind of pretty chill this year, right? Um, you know, I, there was some excitement for certain people, you know, but I, I'm used to it being a lot more lively. Like when Kanye did Coachella or when Beyonce did Coachella, like I kind of felt like this was kind of just like, uh. but then it's like you find out after the fact, oh, Will Smith came out and performed what been in black. Oh, Lauren Hill came out. What? And then I totally forgot that No Doubt was going to be reuniting on this stage, right? So um, so just a lot of moving parts, a lot of moving pieces and all of the things. But ultimately, the first weekend, it came together. Uh, so we'll see whether or not some of these artists bring out the same, you know, special guests for the next weekend or if it'll be a little bit different. Um, sometimes it depends on the artist. But we will, of course, uh, do an update video in the event anything changes. And that is that. But let me know your guys' comments. What, what do you guys think in the comments? Did any of you, even if you didn't watch Coachella in its entirety, because you know I did not, um, there were plenty of clips circulating or at least timestamps if you wanted to see specific artists and specific performances uh, to play back or what have you. Uh, but in this particular video, I just want to know what your reactions were to Will Smith making a surprise appearance and performing Men in Black. What do you think of Lauren Hill making a surprise appearance during her sunset? I don't know if her kids realize like the royalty uh, that their parents are and being the grandson of the Bob Marley. But nonetheless, uh, you know, she came out, Lauren Hill, she was early. It was during the day, <laughs> so nobody could throw shade there. Also, um... You know, no doubt reuniting on this Coachella stage. A lot of raw emotions because they have not performed as a band together in quite some time. And there's been rumors of like discord with certain members. So um, it's been very good that, you know, this was they were able to come together for this. And also Doja Cat. Did you tune in for Doja Cat at all? Uh, like I said, I would have preferred a set list of at least incorporating, you know, some of your biggest hits um, in into a medley or something, right? I, I feel that was the missing piece, right? Because you can always kind of change it up. Like, I think she feels like she has to do like the full out original, you know, same performance, same dance moves or what have you. But you could kind of switch it up to where, you know, it's still fresh for the audience to enjoy. And I think that's where, you know, creativity comes into play. Uh, so there is that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.